so we are back on the skid steer and we have some good news but got a few little things to show you that have been done since you last saw it right mike so what did he do since us last had the video on you well did i said you? took the side covers off just to have a look at chains and on the drive and the sprockets the sprockets don't look too bad mm -hmm. the chain could do with a bit of adjustment but mm -hmm. nothing horrendous possibly replacement chain well, or tension or there, there, well, there wasn't much tension left, was there? Not, not great, no. You can take a half link out if you so desire. Mm -hmm. It's either that or you put a new chain on. But Yeah. So, and Richard has steam cleaned the life out of it. Yeah, he's... Um, so there isn't too much dirt left on it. And as you can see, everything's looking pretty good. All the way around. But as you can see, the chain, pain, uh, ch uh, chain <laughs> tensioner here is right down on its lower limit. So we definitely need to... <laughs> make that chain shorter somehow or replace the chains. In a previous video we found out that the engine was completely toast that was in here which was the Honda GX 340 engine and I got some news because I did mention we were going to get a second hand one and replace the or change over the electric start motor and everything onto the new engine but I've done something a little bit different. So this here is the old engine which is the Honda GX 340 with electric start and all on it and a replacement one of them was about 850, 900 pound. But we've gone down the Lonson route, oh yes, which is theoretically sort of a Honda copy engine and is electric start. It's got some very similar controls to the old one and all the shaft sizes and everything are all the same. So that is literally bolt out, bolt in situation. This is the equivalent to the Honda GX390 engine, not the 340. So might give us a little bit more power as well, but we'll see. I'm not one just to order any Chinese engine. Now, Lomsin, I have had experience with for probably about eight years, and they have been absolutely fantastic. A lot of professional grade machines are now coming with Lomsin engines on, and it'd be great to hear your thoughts on having copy engines on the commercial machines, so pop that in the comments below. As you can see, pretty much everything is nearly identical on them still got the full start back up as well fuel tank is all in the same place air filtration everything all in the same place and yeah all looking rather dandy even the valve covers nearly look like they'd fit right on Mike don't they they look pretty <laughs> uniform yeah it's all smaller folds <laughs> yeah now big thanks to Lonson in the UK because we looked at replacing the engine and we spoke to them and said, look, you know, we've got this to do. Would you be able to help us out? Now, they haven't given us the engine, but they did have given us a very good discount. So thank you very much for that. And the link to their website is in the description below. What's the port call now, then, Mike? What's the plan? Put the base plate on and offer it back in its uh, house and see what happens. In this hole. So what we're going to do is put the engine back in and get it all run up and just check it works to first to make sure everything's working as it should before we go and get carried away. I might just added that we'll also try some attachments while it's like that. And then if everything is all A-OK, -okay, we are going to go for a full on, not restoration, that's probably a bit of a strong word, but a, what's the word, Mike, I'm looking for? Sympathetic <laughs> repair. A symp yeah, sympathetic restoration. So we'll do the change, do the drive, do everything like that and get it all up absolutely bang on. So I'm gonna leave Mike, our friendly mechanic, or Magic Mike, as people like to call him. Friendly. It. Friendly. <laughs> He's a friendly. Yeah. <laughs> to bang the engine in, and then we'll hopefully turn the key, fire up, and see if something works. Your petticoat government's been working them too hard again, that. Morning, Mike. <laughs> we have some news, because Marvellous Mike, or Magic Mike, or Magician Mike, has mental bike, Men mental bike. <laughs> has put the engine back in. Oh yes, yeah, or back in. Replace the engine. Let's check it out. Let's take a look. There it is. The beautiful little Lonson engine is now in. Here, Mike, that looks a little bit snug on the sides there. Is all right? But there's no engine mounts, you see. Oh, I see. It's so all it's hard bolted. Only held on by the plate in the bottom. Yeah. Now, did you and see that plate in the bottom? It's hard mounted, so everything's hard mounted. There's no no engine mountings whatsoever. Right. And it looks like you've had to do something to that plate, by the looks of it. Well, probably because there isn't any uh, mountings, the fixing bolts is all cracking and splitting out on the bracket. So 
So welded all that back up together and strengthened it. Yeah. To be able to what are them? take engine like. That is, yeah, snug fit, isn't it? There isn't a lot of spare space. No, well, you can get a fag paper up beside some of that, but ideal. At least we got the right size engine. At least it wasn't um, the other way around. Where mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we took the key start bit up there. Lovely job. Looking smart. We've got the wheels back on, so we left the plates off here so that we can test it and see what's going on there. Obviously, we're going to have to replace the chains or shorten the chains and sort out these tension pulleys here as well, because that tensioner is right down on its limit. All right, so now that we've got the new engine in and everything's just set up so that it can work, the idea now is to put on an implement or two maybe, just to try it out to make sure everything is fine. Down she comes. Fuel in there. Make sure. Let's see if she starts up. Oh, oh. Really, baby. Right, so we have got the auger on the front. What a beast that looks. Pretty cool. So that's all clipped in fine on the headstock. Just got a pin each side that it goes into. Pipes up through here. You've got three pipes. Why well, have you got three pipes, Mike? You've got a motor. So yeah, so one's a return, is it? No. What? One will be feed, one will be return, and one will be like a bleed. So anything passes back, drops back into the tank. Because you, it's, it, the, the bleed, the small pipe, just goes right in top there. Ah, I see. All right. Ah, all right. That makes sense. Depends on... Hello. Hello. That's a bit lively, isn't it? <laughs> you turn hydraulics into some sparks, <laughs> Electro-hydraulics. <laughs> yeah. Arcing it across on the battery there. Electro-hydraulics. <laughs> so I tried that just now after Mike had a go, and it is a little bit wild when it's on full revs, but turn the revs down, it works absolutely fine. It actually sounds like it labours a little bit when it's on full revs, but turn the revs down a little bit, she behaves absolutely beautifully. So we'll have another go in a minute once we've got the old um, pipes in. We're going round, Mike. Both ways. Right, it's up to the trencher. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Narrow away, Mikey. There he is. <laughs> yeah, so it's trapped the pipe in underneath the bracket, but now it's untrapped and it's all on there properly. Got two pipes in, Mike's just fiddling around with the last pipe, yeah? Because I couldn't do it, in other words, so. I'm not going, going, going to be able to because I don't think. You're in a fiddle as well. Do you think it's the wrong fiddling, Mike? I don't think it's quite the right. It's I knew I wasn't struggling for a reason. So I wasn't being completely ridiculous. We've got them um, two different sizes. Oh yeah, and the fittings. We're just taking the fitting off the other one. There we go, see. Even you guys can see the difference there. I think we've got a new nickname for Mike. I'm gonna call him Skidmark. <laughs> donut. Donut, there we go. <laughs> what a crispy cram. I don't want this mine a donut, good jammy one. <laughs> you don't like the one with a hole in the middle then? No, I did a donut. That's a fucking 
Abomination. There's a cake in it. <laughs> Right, let's see if we can trench it. Can we trench? Yeah, look at this job. I've no idea we're going well. Yeah, that way, I reckon. Look at that. We're all working. Diggity, 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 diggity. What a job. What a tool, Mike. Yeah. Fancy going trenching with that one all day? Better than a shovel, isn't it? <laughs> so we have success. We have an engine which works perfectly. We have implements on the front which work, so we know all the hydraulics work, all the hydraulic motors and the steering works so for, the, for the wheels, all the rams and everything work on the loader. So very happy that everything works as it should. So now what we've got to do is replace these chains and the rollers in there for the tensioners so that we've got enough tension. As you can see, that's down there. That should be up there a little bit further to get that tension there and the same exactly the same on the other side we're going to try and do a bit of trenching at some point just so that we can well one shine it up and make sure it's all working properly which it should be fine and the same with that roller tensioner out there and the tires are well let's just say tired for a better term but no well happy with the little onsen engine I was a little bit worried she's laboring to start with when she's on full power but you I'm going to have full power you can just have it on lower power when you're using it normally, and then at least you've got a bit more extra power there if you need it. Oh, we've got to replace the hour clock as well, so, because that's all been smashed and isn't working. But then, brand new engine, everything else will be going over it. So I was in the office, and I heard Mike out here playing with his pecker, so I thought I'd better come and have a look. Mike's got the pecker working now as well. So I did toy with the idea of completely restoring it. So stripping it right down, paintwork and everything. But I don't think we're going to get value for money out of that. So because once you do that, you've got to do every last little thing, which other than what we're going to do isn't a great deal more. But stripping it down wise, time, effort, painting, sandblasting, all of that jazz is going to take ages. And the guy who does my, not powder coating, what's the other one? Shot blasting is booked up to here. So that's going to take ages. So I think it's better just to get it all back together, get it all working, get all the chains, rollers, and everything sorted. We've got a brand new engine in it now. We're going to go through all the attachments. Now we've got a lot of attachments. We've got buckets, we've got pallet forks, we've got land levelers, we've got the trencher, we've got the auger, we've got a breaker. There's loads. And that's all going to be sold separately, and this is going to be sold separately as well. So we'll list this on eBay once we've done it. But now next job is to get this sorted so we'll let you know in our community tab so make sure you subscribe when this comes up for sale with all the attachments which will probably be on ebay so yeah stay tuned thank you very much for watching we'll see you in the next one cheerio bye